So Claude just released the version 3.7. And up until now, as you know, I've been using Claude on a daily basis. Despite the fact that we have so many models out there. And they just come out with the best version to date. And it's so good. Um, and it's just not one thing that is new, but also we have Claude Co. So first of all, let's take a look at Claude 3.7. It's available in Cursor as well. And I've been using it. It's doing more thinking. It you know, works really well with Agent. And if you look at some of the uh, benchmarks, you can see that it's significantly better uh, you know, at agentic coding. So 49% to 62%. Um, and also, you know, I've started seeing people creating landing pages in a single prom like this one, which has 26 files created in, in one shot. And you're going to see a lot more of that in the future. Now, we're also going to have Cloud Code, which is essentially uh, you're going to be able to talk to your code base in the terminal and also, I believe, perform tasks. So I've given it a try, and it's currently in preview, and you're going to be able to try that yourself. So this is the documentation which is going to give you access to Cloud Code. And essentially, all you need to do is right here. And it works on any system, including Windows and Mac and Ubuntu. Um, and you need to install this NPM, which is Node. So you have to install Node first, and then you have to do NPM install. And then you're going to go to your directory in the terminal. And then you're going to run this command called Claude. It's going to walk through a bunch of steps. And once you have that, it's going to look something like this. And you're essentially going to be talking to the code base. So you're going to go to your uh, project, you're going to run Claude, Claude, and then, you know, it's going to start the server and all that stuff. And at that point, you can start asking questions. So for example, you know, obviously I know the answers. I'm just testing it. So for example, list the fonts that are available in my app. Um, you know, can you export GIF and is it working? Like, it's going to read the code base and it's going to analyze it. It's going to give you the thoughts and the files that are provided. It's going to search. And, you know, it was able to say, yes, it works. And, uh, you know, these are specific functionalities, the files specific to those functionalities. And what are the features uh, for FPS and all that stuff. So, so it's really good. And the fact that you can just chat with your code base, I think it's a, you know, it's a pretty game changer. Uh, yes, you can do that in Cursor as well, but now you don't need to use Cursor. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure you can chat with you know, different types of files as well. Now let's take a look at Cursor. Uh, if you don't know what Cursor is, it's essentially an ID, so a code editor, where you can run uh, a lot of models. AI models is going to be you know, uh, essentially a really, really good developer sitting next to you and going to be able to ask the developer, which is the AI, to do the code for you, to build software, even if you don't know how to code. So you just need to know the steps to install Cursor, to uh, to set up the model. So in this case, once you're in Cursor, you're going to go to the agentic mode, and, you know, you're going to go to the right side, which is a sidebar. Uh, you, you know, there's the left side, which is a navigator, and then the right side. So you're going to click on the plus, and then you have the new sort of UI that just came out in Cursor, which now you can have the agent and the model that comes with it. Now we have 3.5, which is what I used to do before, and now we have 3.7, and apparently there's one specific to agent, so this is the one that I'm trying, which is really good, but otherwise, if you wanna change to different models, you can always go to the settings and go to models, and this is where you can find all of the AI models that you can use. Um, keep in mind that Claude, so far, is the only one that is able to use the agent feature. Now, let me tell you what is the agent feature, because this is so good. The agent feature, essentially, is that you're going to be able to just run the prompt without telling it so much context. So you don't, you don't need to include the, all the files that you want. So for example, this specific feature that I want for my app, you know, I want to be able to select one single, uh, like multiple text captions. So for, this is the app that I'm actually using to build this video that I'm recording. 
and you know I want to select multiple text and I want to be able to edit all of them at once so in order to do that I need to know what are the files that are involved but in this case I only included one file and it's able to go through the thought process of you know reading the code base and including you know all of these files so it's it's managed to search all of these code all of these files and figure out that okay there are three files that I need to modify now I haven't tested it yet but you know this is a very complex task it's not an easy task and it's able to go through that and you know with maybe one simple um, type checking error right because I'm using TypeScript and so I would say first of all this is really good I think the the thought process this is new so it's able to give you more context as to what it's thinking I think this wasn't there before and it's also you know I think the output quality seems to be generally better so I have to do more testing but yeah you know like you don't need to know code um, to to you know to to uh, an extreme extent obviously yes it does help to know code yes it does help to know how to install a cursor but you're not gonna need that uh, and you can kind of walk through so AI is gonna help you it's gonna hold your hand and it's gonna kind of walk you through all of these just think of having like a teacher really next to you let's say you, you don't know code you have a teacher next to you and that person is able to walk you through 24 7 you know all the stuff that you need to know and it's gonna do the edits for you and obviously you just need to give directions you need to sort of like understand what the product is about so I think this is really exciting on top of that there's also another new thing that you know comes with cursor this has nothing to do with uh, Claude but it's something that probably Claude is going to implement uh, if it hasn't already it's the M MCP so what is MCP basically uh, this is going to allow you to connect to different um, APIs and code base and uh, you know be able to have all of these massive contacts on the internet not just locally but also on the internet uh, you know using uh, github repos and stuff like that and you're gonna be able to use that context and just you know run better codes and and create better code so I think this is really interesting uh, let me know if you want me to do a deeper dive on any of this stuff um, and obviously give it a try and I also hope that you like this new format where I'm kind of like reacting to news and giving you some pointers and giving my own experience so let me know in the comments what you think um, and yeah you know I'll see you in the next video